Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. In today's video, we will discuss projection of planes, a question related to pentagonal plane in which the surface angle has to be found out. Let us take the question. A pentagonal plane PQRST of side 30 mm is resting on one of its side PQ on HP and its surface is inclined to HP such that the corner opposite to the resting side is 35 mm above HP. Draw the projections of the plane when the side PQ is 30 degree inclined to VP. Also find the surface inclination with HP. Let us write down the given data. Pentagonal plane PQRST of side 30 mm. So this is the plane. If only one side is mentioned, it means it is a regular pentagon side PQ on HP and it is 30 degree inclined to VP. This is another given data. Then surface is inclined to HP. This is important. Corner opposite to the resting side is 35 mm above HP. So this is another given data. And to find theta that is inclination with HP. Now this is the resting side which has to be taken on HP and it makes an angle phi 30 degrees with VP. So this reference has to be taken on the left hand side while drawing the true shape. Also the surface inclination is with HP. That means the true shape will be visible in top view. Now this is the pentagonal plane according to this condition and this as a top view we have this as the diagram that is our first true shape and it will be seen in top view. So if I name it PQRST or if you go clockwise also starting from here PQRST in both the cases the corner opposite to side PQ will be S. So here the corner opposite to side PQ which is given name is not mentioned that corner will be S. Now this is a given data let us draw the actual 2D solution now XY line a projector then taking distance 30 mm to draw the pentagon. Now this distance is not mentioned in the question. In front how much it is given it's not given in the question so you have to assume this distance. As for my suggestion take this distance at least equal to this which is given to us. So it is not going to have any further complications while drawing the further views. Naming it taking projectors up, completing the front view, naming the front view points P dash Q dash on same location, R dash T dash on same location, S dash here. Now hereafter as seen in previous videos our step is to take theta angle and put this front view on that angle theta but here theta has to be found out. So in place of theta what is mentioned? It is mentioned that corner S opposite to side PQ is 35 mm above HP. You have to keep P dash Q dash on the XY line and you have to tilt this line, incline this line such that S dash should be 35 mm above XY. So you'll take a point P dash Q dash, take distance 35, draw a locus, take compass P dash as the point radius equals to p dash s dash in compass keep it on p dash s dash here and cut it this is our point s dash join it this is the theta which is required to be found out then again use the compass distance p dash to r dash so this is the distance you have taken now in the compass keeping it at here and cutting it another arc you get the position of r dash t dash Take the projector down. I am taking one projector at a time so as to make you understand how to locate the points. So this line, this projector has P dash Q dash on it and P is on from this side. So this is the intersection point. This is P1. Similarly on this line we have another point Q and from this side is on this side. So then it comes to R, T and S. I have changed the name as explained in the previous videos. Name has to be changed when the dimensions are changing. Join them in sequence P to Q, Q to R, R to S, S to T and T to P again. 
Now we have to keep this side P1 Q1 at a given angle phi 30 degrees. So you have to take a point, name it P1, take an angle phi which is given as 30 degrees in the question, draw the line, then use this length P1 Q1, take it in compass, keep it here, your compass and cut it, obtain point Q1. Now the remaining points have to be obtained. So you have to take the compass, take length that is radius equals to P1 R1 in compass, keep your compass at P1, draw an arc. Then again, keep compass at Q1 here and radius equals to Q1 R1 in your compass, keep your compass here and draw another arc. You obtained a new point that is R1. See ya. We have obtained R using the distances from P and Q. Once you have taken the distance from P and once from Q. The same thing has to be done again for remaining points. So you have to take distance P1, S1 in compass. Keep your compass at P1 here. Draw an arc. Then you have to use Q1, S1 in your compass. Keep your compass here. Cut another arc name this point S1 then you have to use P1 T1 distance that is P1 to T1 in your compass keep your compass here draw an arc then again you have to use Q1 T1 so you have to keep compass here take this distance in your compass now keep your compass here and cut this arc name it as T1 join the points in sequence P to Q, Q to R, R to S, S to T and T to P again. Now completing the front view. Projector from P1, P is on XY line, so this is P1 dash. Second point is Q, so Q1 on this line and on XY line here. Then R1, corresponding point is on this line from front view, this is the intersection point. S1 and it is on the topmost line here so this is the projector you will get here as S1 dash then T1 and it is on the second last line from the top so this is the projector of R and T so this is T1 dash join them in sequence don't forget the sequence P1 dash to Q1 dash Q1 dash to R1 dash R1 dash to S1 dash S1 dash to T1 dash and again to P1 dash. This completes your three stage solution of the given question. So if you do all the things correctly and you draw this question on your sketchbook then you will find answer theta will be approximately equal to 50 degrees. There might be a slight variation depending on the errors you have in your construction work. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe it, like and share my videos with your friends. Thank you for watching.